Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. In this video session, we are going to discuss about that how we add node at WordPress admin bar. And this is our part 10th of this video session series. So if you are a beginner guys from this video session, then I strongly recommend you to watch our WordPress theme options development tutorial from scratch in which we had discussed about several customization techniques to provide flexibility usage to user. So have a look actually what we are going to make in this video session. As you can see that when we hover our mouse over the new tab, you could see the something sub menu sections will appear in front of you so this is the section that we are going to make like we are going to add something tab into this area in which we will hover and we will get our custom sub menu under our parent tab okay so this is uh, how we actually learn from this video session guys and this is called customizations of admin bar to add your custom actually say your menus and sub menus at admin level so before using such type of technique or you may say customization tool just go to documentation section of if you could find like wp admin bar and here you could find the method called add node add node method basically it is used to add the nodes at the admin bar level okay so if you find the documentation at wordpress.org then you could find that actually a good documentation has made by the wordpress developers in which you could study about wp admin bar as a global object that we have passed to make our admin bar as well as by the help of this object we need to call a method in this method we need to pass some arguments which will take like id title slug as well as this class is hyperlink so many more things that we will pass in this method after taking as a argument it will make a node at the admin bar level have a look all the parameter details actually it explained also like argument contains like id title parent href group meta so many informations that you have to pass as an array into the method of add, add node okay so let's we are get started with adding node to our admin bar level so just, just go to our code editor first you need to open the functions.php file of your theme okay so i have opened actually as you can see smart agency is our custom theme in which i have opened functions.php file now we are going to add our node so just to use that we have to actually use a function let's make a function for that like custom add node part okay so this is a function guys that I have selected to make our admin bar and let's attach with the action hook and the hook that will be used to add the node at admin bar level that is called admin bar menu admin bar menu this is the action hook which you use basically to attach the admin bar menus just paste the function that you have made now I am pasted so this is the action hook which I have attached with this function which we have made okay. now we have to pass the global object that you can say like WP admin part just copy of that it is the object that you have to pass within this function just paste it here by the help of object you need to call the add node method these are the points guys that you have to keep in your mind while using or if you want to make a tool something like node at the admin bar menu so just copy this object and paste within the argument section of this function okay and now all we need to use the add node method so just copy of this line and paste within your function now i have to pass an array of means values so let's make some arguments for our first node and within this argument let's pass the information like id first will be id of our first node let's make id equal to it's called node 1 okay you can give your own id according to your need now give title 
I am writing suppose something like social links okay and the next one is parent is it a parent of your board section yes if I select it suppose this is a parent so in this section we actually we have to left blank for that because as we know that this could be our first means as you can say first node of our tool so it actually the parent does not exist of this node okay so just remove this section for now let's pass the another parameter for that href so when we click on that node that we're going to made has a hyperlink or not so for now i just pass like javascript void means there is no link of that okay now actually let's check first with passing in link like http dot google.com and just check this now we are going to run this code actually what we have made so far just control f to refresh here is the error like missing argument one for wp add node actually we haven't passed this array to our function just copy and passed it let's refresh once more as you could see like social links that we have made here as you can see let's make a fixed positions of that after the new okay to make the fixed tab just you need to pass like the last parameter something like 999 we don't actually know the positions of right means after the new tab so i have just passed triple nine to means make fix our tab to the last tab just press refresh so as you could find social links will appear just ahead of new just click on that when we click we should be redirected to the google means http slash google.com website and you could see that we have redirected successfully to the google website just go now we are going to make some sub menus of this add means parent node okay so this could be the parent node and now we are going to make some sub menus of this node to do that just copy of this paste it here all we have to do to make the parent okay and we need to pass that the node one just copy the id of your parent and paste it here as we have made the second node okay second node and you could say something like node two parent is node one and something like facebook two. facebook and it is called facebook.com okay so this is the first social link that we have made and this is called a parent node means it acts as a parent and this is the sub menu okay so let's just make sub arguments to let's pass that so this will be the sub menu of this menu tab so just save your file refresh your page once you refresh on hover on social links you could see facebook here tab will be appear so when we click on facebook then you will redirect it to the facebook website as you can see facebook.com so just good and this is called the sub menu of this node so social links we have made the facebook just inspect this element you could see the id that we have passed something like node 2 as you can see node 2 the id that we have made and it's the node 1 that we have made parent for that okay so now let's go ahead and make some other sub menus for this parent tab so just copy this code all we have to do to paste this code and let's make it element number three node three and parent should be the same like node one and what is node one social links is node one okay guys and now just we are going to make twitter okay and here twitter.com the next should be like suppose we want to make something like youtube just copy this node and paste it here argument number four all we have to do pass this arguments to this node parent node should be the same and it's node four and it is called youtube www.youtube.com 
okay so all we have done now we have made a parent node in which we have passed id title href so and now these are the arguments you you can say these are the sub menus that we have made for our parent tab okay so these are the parameters that we have passed and we have binded this function that we have made to admin bar menu action hook. and to fix the positions of our social links tab we need to pass triple nine as to fix at the last position after new tab okay so just refresh this after pressing you could see that the, the tabs that we have added will appear here Facebook Twitter and the YouTube so once you click on any tab then you will be directed that whatever you will pass into the href link okay and now suppose when we click on YouTube suppose I'm going to click on YouTube so just click on YouTube then you will be redirected into the same tab as you can see the page refresh itself we want that when we click on any of the link then it should open into the new tab i don't want to open in the current tab so how can actually we do such type of task okay so to do that we need to add the meta array attribute in which we have to pass target is equal to underscore blank okay to open into a new tab so just we have to use meta so when we click on any of the tab like suppose we when we want to click on youtube link then all we have to do to pass meta and under this meta section all we have to make an array of that which will take either of these values as you can see so we want that when we click on any of the link it should actually open into the new tab so we want to use target for that just copy of this and paste it here all you have to pass the value as underscore blank okay all we have done now so just refresh your page once you click on youtube then you will be redirected to the new tab and youtube will open in the new tab so just click on that you could see that our youtube actually opens into the new tab so how sweet it actually it is so according to use guys if you want to give a class for this menu section means just click on youtube then you could see that the anchor tab actually has taken the target underscore blank suppose we want to add a class for that by default it has taken a class ab underscore item so we want something like some extra classes if you want to add into our anchor tag so just we need to pass class just copy of that and paste it here now i'm going to give like demo class okay so this is the class custom class that we have made for the node youtube okay so just save your file and refresh your page once you refresh when we inspect over our youtube so just go to social links inspect on youtube then you might be find about the demo class that we have made okay so this is the link actually of youtube this is the node that we have created and here you could find about demo class that we have given as a class for that node okay so this is the class this is the hyperlink and this is the target attribute actually you have set now so these all guys parameters that we have discussed actually all easy to keep in your mind while using add node method to add your custom nodes at admin level okay so let's recap all the things that we have studied before closing this video for this video session we are going to learn actually how actually we add our custom menu tabs or sub menus at the admin bar level so this actually custom tool where where we are going to use suppose you are going to create a custom plugin okay and your custom plugin contains three or four five tabs you actually want to give a uh, easy way to click on your custom plugin menus or sub menus so just you have to supply those links at the admin bar menu okay so to add those menus we have to use admin bar menu as action hook all we have to do add a function for that and fix a position by passing triple nine after making function you need to pass the global object of wp admin bar okay bypassing this object we have to use actually add node method in which we have to pass some parameters in the form of array 
okay so these are the parameters as you could see like id title href these all parameters that we have passed under add node method by taking these arguments it makes an node at the admin bar level okay so to make the sub menus of this parent node to make the sub menus of this parent node you have to use the parent attribute and you need to pass the id of that node node 1 as you can see node 1 is the id of our first tab that we have made and it acts as a parent tab for all the menus that we have made like facebook twitter and you can say about youtube okay and to give your custom class to give your custom class or as you can see like if you click on any of the link the link should be open in new tab so all these parameters you can set actually under the meta attribute okay so under the meta attribute we could set actually these are the parameters that i can see and all the parameters actually you could find from here so this is the basic use of guys that how can we add our custom menus or sub menus at admin bar level so i think guys i have made much more clear concept about how can we add our custom add node at the admin bar level so guys if you have any query about this video session then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible and also guys if you are beginner from this video session then please watch previous video sessions that in which we had discussed about as you could see something like custom theme settings setting panel we have also made our custom control so many more things we had discussed so far okay guys so just go through our youtube channel and watch those videos first to get the clear vision about the custom theme development options video tutorial okay guys so for this video session thank you for watching have a great day